Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I run uh, 33 inch tires on a 3 inch lift on an FJ Cruiser with uh, no rubbing and no need for a body mount chop. I'm Sandy. Take a look. Black, keep the Toyota. Review about the Chotec. Switching over to the 787. way to Stewartville now uh, it's about an hour and ten minute ride as you can see it's terrible weather outside it's been uh, raining for the last 24 hours it's flooded it's flooded but nothing is deterring me I've been waiting for this moment for such a long time scheduled this about three weeks ago uh, really uh, really highly recommended place John did his lift his uh, seven inch lift and his new wheels and tires over there. I'll be there in like 30 minutes and take you for a little tour around the place. At this stage, I'd like to thank you for uh, watching. I'm getting closer to 300 subscribers. It's going slow, but I do appreciate every and each one of you that is sticking around and enjoying my videos and sharing it. Lifting it, I'm gonna use a Bilstein 5100. Uh, all four around. I'm gonna level it as well. New fuel wheels, the uh, JM2, Jeremy McGrath 2, and have Nitto uh, Ridge Grapplers, 285, 70 by 17. So this is the place I just got here. Okay, four wheel uh, drive and tire. Amazing place, I'll show you around. A lot of interesting trucks. Jeepster Commando. They have a Christmas tree here. And that gift right there. That's for me. Those. They're working on it already now. So this is the next day in the morning. Went to pick up the car. Went to pick up the truck. Uh, first initial glance. This is looking really nice. We'll take a okay, I'm going to take it uh, into town. It's going to be an hour till I get back into town to the same spot where I videotaped a few days ago uh, the walk around and I'll show you so this is what the truck looked like just three days before I installed the new wheels tires and the lift take a look So if you own an FJ, you probably know about the, the rubbing when you try to install 33s. And if you're not, so let me uh, explain. Uh, because of the small, rather small wheel well, uh, if you try to put or uh, run 33 inch t uh, wheels and tires on the, on the FJ, you get a lot of rubbing. And it limits pretty much uh, from, uh, limits you from installing bigger wheels. So 
usually what you do is you go and have a, something called a body uh, body mount chop. So a body mount chop is pretty much chopping this part off. Uh, you can do it yourself. Uh, there's some explanations uh, on the internet on YouTube. Or you can actually take it to somebody uh, to chop part of the uh, the chassis. Doesn't affect the handling. Doesn't doesn't affect integrity or anything. But then it uh, gives you more space over here, so uh, the wheels and tires don't the tire doesn't rub. So that's one of the uh, things that stops uh, FJ owners or they're a bit scared or worried, uh, you know, how to accomplish that. Which uh, it's not really a problem. Anyway, with uh, this setup, I was able. I was able to avoid the body mount chop and I'm running 33s. I'm running uh, 33 uh, Nitto Ridge Grapplers, 285 70 by uh, 17s. And as you can see, I guess it's uh, because of these uh, fuel, fuel wheel, the JM2, uh, Jeremy McGrath 2. I'm just able to clear by. Uh, about an inch or half an inch three quarters of an inch um, this fender part and there's actually no need no need for a body mount chop anyway my new setup is uh, a three inch lift I achieved it with uh, these Bilstein 5100s and they are mounted using my uh, older the springs that I had originally uh, it seems like they did a nice and clean job and they also uh, dropped they dropped my differential a bit so the angle here is uh, not is not too uh, not too steep and it doesn't affect the joints I've been riding now in the truck more than half an hour at highway speeds and it is really, really smooth. You know, the, the lift, the three inch lift that I did, I didn't use blocks or, uh, you know, spacers. The, I used the, the Bilstein 5100, and what's nice about it, they have adjustable uh, heights, so you can adjust for different springs. So I used the original springs that I had before, mounted inside the springs, uh, the Bilsteins, and the ride is just it's just so smooth really really nice really nice ride these uh, Nitto uh, Ridge Grapplers are really really nice they're uh, they, they ride really nice they're quiet yet they have a, an aggressive look and they're very good they're very good on the off-road as well now at uh, 60 miles per hour with the new uh, setup it feels pretty much the same the ride is smooth nice and smooth handling is no different actually um, I was concerned that maybe the new setup you know being a higher center of gravity and different shocks it would handle differently but it's very very smooth uh, the tires themselves are not as quiet as what the stock uh, what I had before because the other ones were uh, were street tires were literally street only so those were as silent as, as as anything. But now with these uh, hybrid tires, I'm now 70 miles per hour. All you can hear is the wind. I can't really hear the, any rumbling of the tires. So that's pretty good. Really happy with the outcome. The same thing in the back. I put uh, also 5100s, uh, Bill C 5100s on the back. I'll show you now. I don't know if you can see, I'll try to crawl under. Down to the 5100s and gotta tell you the ride was extremely smooth really nice this is a, this is an ongoing project started with uh, the lift the three inch lift the next step is gonna be uh, to put side steps or nerf bars gives it a nice look as well I'm contemplating uh, if to uh, to take these uh, fender fender flares out and just keep it uh, a clean look. Uh, these these JM twos have a, a negative offset, so it pops pops the wheels and tires out. So it, 
gives it a nice a nice look. I think one inch pops out about one or two inches out. If I get rid of these uh, flares, these fender flares, it will bring out uh, the wheels. Next step is going to be, of course, the fender. I mean, next step, of course, is going to be the bumper. I want to put some nice, uh, nice, aggressive looking bumper with a few uh, lights on them. Another option that I saw with the front bumper is getting rid of uh, these little, uh, I don't know, these silly, these silly looking uh, ends. And what what you get to what you get after uh, you know getting uh, rid of them, eliminating these, you get to see the uh, the wheels. So they they pop out, they stick out. It looks it looks uh, much nicer. Look at the pattern, really nice, nice and aggressive pattern. What do you say? You like the setup? Let me know if you think any have any other suggestions how to run a, a nice look on this. Look at this beast. It's got machine guns, real machine guns over there. This is really vicious. I'm from Top Fire. Look at this mean machine. What is this? 40... 42s? Maybe 47s? This mean looking thing. That is some nasty shit, look at that. Look at those shocks, look at those springs. Amazing, really cool. I really want, I really want to shoot that, that machine gun over there. Well, at this stage, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and uh, click that subscribe uh, button and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy this video, give me a like and share. I am Sandy. Until the next uh, video, peace out.